Welcome friends to the part 9 of video on elementary logic. This is syllabus from Mumbai University for first year BA LLB students. In this video we are going to learn about induction and simple enumeration. Enumeration as a form of induction. So earlier we studied about two types of reasoning inductive and deductive in this there is a simple enumeration we'll understand what enumeration also is but it's a form of induction reasoning or inductive reasoning so let's get into the topic induction is a logical process where conclusions are drawn based on observation so this is inductive reasoning basically Moving from specific instances to general principles. This also we can utilize in distinguish between in our question paper if it comes. One is that induction or inductive reasoning is a logical process where conclusions are drawn based on observation. And deductive reasoning was from general observation to specific conclusion. Whereas here in induction, we are moving from the specific or the conclusions are drawn from specific observations. Moving from specific instances to general principles. Unlike deduction where conclusions necessarily follow from premises, inductive reasoning leads to conclusions that are probable rather than certain. So this can be used in distinguish between or writing a short note on in inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning or rather induction and deduction basically. Let's move on what is the definition of in enumeration. So now we'll understand what enumeration is. Enumeration refers to the systematic listing or counting of individual items, instances or cases. Going forward after I complete the entire syllabus of logic in English, I'll also make the same series in Hindi so that uh, other students can also benefit. So it makes the understanding much more clear. So enumeration refers to systematic listing or counting of individual items, instances or cases. So basically we are here what we are trying to gather is as many observations as possible. So enumeration is basically a systematic listing that is what we need to understand. Now what is this listing about? About items, instances or cases. In logic and reasoning, enumeration is a method of considering specific examples to make observations or draw conclusions. So from these specific observations, we are drawing conclusions. So this is inductive reasoning. It plays a key role in inductive reasoning, particularly in simple enumeration, where conclusions are generalized based on observed patterns. This is all self-explanatory. If you just read through this once again, you'll understand. Types of enumeration. So in this particular topic, we are just going to learn about simple enumeration and not about complete and partial enumeration. So what is simple enumeration? It involves observing a series of cases and generalizing a conclusion. So conclusion is drawn on basically a, on the observation of a number or a series or a set of cases or a set of observations. For example, case 1, metal A expands when heated, case 2, metal B also expands when heated. So conclusion is all metals expand when heated. So it may or may not be true because this is probabilistic. There may be certain metals which may not expand when heated. Complete enumeration. All possible cases are listed and verified to establish a conclusion. So the difference between simple and complete enumeration is that in simple, there is a series of cases, whereas in a complete enumeration, all possible cases are listed. Example, listing all integers between 1 and 10 to verify their properties. Partial enumeration, only a subset of cases is considered to suggest a possible conclusion. So in this case, the conclusion is drawn from the set, but not the entire series of that set. So certain parts of that set are considered and from that a possible conclusion is drawn. 
Example, observing that several fruits grow on trees and inferring that most fruits might grow on trees. How is it relevant in logic and legal reasoning? In logic, enumeration is a foundational process in inductive reasoning and helps in forming hypotheses or general principles. Basically, in inductive reasoning, we, of course, it is probabilistic, that is, that is what we know. Uh, the conclusion is not certain in inductive reasoning, whereas in deductive reasoning, the conclusion is certain. So, basically, the foundation of an inductive reasoning is a set of observation. It is based on observation. So, we need enumeration or list of series of cases to come to a conclusion. In legal reasoning, lawyers and judges often use enumeration to analyze evidence, list precedents or observe patterns in similar cases to reach conclusion. So how do we lawyers reach conclusions where uh, as far as re using, utilizing inductive reasoning is by we look at multiple evidences, we list precedents, precedents as uh, in the earlier videos I had explained, it is basically past judgments, past orders of the courts and case laws and also observing patterns in similar cases to reach a particular conclusion. Key features of enumeration, it is observation based, basically all induction or inductive reasoning is observation based, that is it relies on examining, examining individual cases, it is systematic approach ensure that cases are considered in a structured way and generalization especially in simple enumeration conclusions are broader than the observed instances so here we are just taking observed all set of observed instances but not entire uh, or listing of entire enumerations or entire set but certain observations of instances examples in law suppose a lawyer observes the following pattern case a the court ruled in favor of the plaintiff. Plaintiff is the person who files the case or basically complaint uh, in the court. So the court ruled in favor of the plaintiff based on clear evidence. In case B also, the court ruled in favor of the plaintiff based on clear evidence. Therefore, we can draw an inductive conclusion that court tends to favor the plaintiff when evidence is strong. Now, let's come to our main topic of simple enumeration induction definition. Simple enumeration is a basic form of inductive reasoning in which generalization is made, that is a conclusion is drawn based on repeated observations of similar instances. It assumes that patterns observed in the past will continue in the future. So this definition we will have to remember. It is very simple. The, the understanding is simple that is. Of course, memorization will have to do. Features of simple enumeration induction. So what is it? One is, what are the features? Generality. The conclusion is broad generali generalization from specific instances. Probability. The conclusion is not guaranteed to be true. It is only probable. These are all the features of inductive reasoning, non-rigorous. Simple enumeration lacks rigorous justification and is prone to exceptions. Of course, because it is based on list of observations or cases as the, as the case may be. The structure of simple enumeration, the structure typically follows this pattern. Observed instances, A is true for case 1, case 2, case 3 and so on. A, n number of cases. Therefore, the conclusion or generalization is Therefore, AAA, that is the case, is true for all cases. Examples of simple enumeration induction. Observed cases. Swan 1 is white, Swan 2 is white, Swan 3 is white. Therefore, the conclusion is all swans are white. However, this conclusion might be incorrect if a black swan is observed later. So, this example we can give in our exams. What are the strengths and weaknesses of induction or inductive reasoning? Basically, Ease of use. Simple enumeration is intu intuitive and easy to apply. Common in everyday life. 
it is widely used in forming everyday beliefs and assumptions so scientific theories scientific observations are based on inductive kind of reasoning observations hasty generalization the conclusions may not be accurate if the observed cases are not representative or true problem of inductive generalization features future observations might contradict the generalization that is the discovery for of a black swan lack of rigorous justification there is no necessary connection between observed instances and the conclusion because it's of course it's a probabilistic if uh, i'm going very fast do let me know in the comment section i would uh, henceforth uh, try to go a bit slow because you have to cover many topics this is just module 1 two more topics are left in module 1 then we have to cover module 2 as well then we have module 3 module 4 so there are many modules which we need to cover up so i need to be a little faster as the exams are approaching on 22nd jan 2024 we have to also complete english and uh, rather i have to also complete english as well as economics application of simple enumeration induction in law witness testimony a lawyer may generalize based on the consistent testimony of multiple witnesses of course remembering so many things is very difficult uh, but my my suggestion is that what we can do is we can uh, understand and then expand on whatever we have studied or heard uh, in, in our question paper in our paper basically so witness testimony where is enumeration induction is used is that a lawyer may generalize based on the consistent testimony of multiple witnesses so multiple witnesses have come they have given their testimony they have said something and then a lawyer generalizes or comes to a conclusion based on multiple testimonies precedents courts use past similar cases to generalize decisions for current cases so many past judgments cases which have come up those can be used as uh, uh, to form a generalized conclusion basically from those specific instances that is what the definition of inductive reasoning is also evidence evaluation patterns observed in evidence repeated fraud in transactions may lead to inductive conclusion so if there are many frauds in the transaction which we have seen one fraud two fraud uh, okay there could be one mistake two mistakes but if there are repeated a uh, mistakes in a in a ledger or in a bank statement then uh, or in a company that could lead to a generalized conclusion that of course this may be a fraud it could act as an evidence let's go through the question and answers so there are three only three questions define simple enumeration as a form of induction simple enumeration is a type of induction where a generalization is made based on repeated observations of similar cases so we had three types of enumeration but we for this topic we just need to know about simple enumeration and there are three enumerations of inductive reasoning so basically inductive reasoning is divided into three for the three parts one is the simple enumeration and the other two partial and complete so simple enumeration complete enumeration uh, enumeration and partial enumeration so here we are looking at simple so simple enumeration is a type of induction or inductive reasoning where a generalization is made based on repeated observations of similar cases explain the strength and weaknesses of simple enumeration strengths include intuitive that is observable commonly used in daily life weaknesses is that it is we can come to a hasty generalization and it also lacks rigorous justification how is simple enumeration used in legal reasoning it is used in analyzing patterns in evidence evaluating witness testimony so these two can be very easily remembered and used as an example of for uh, Uh, simple enumeration or inductive reasoning where it is used so it is used in evidence because we can analyze patterns or observations repeated observations and evaluating witness testimony and applying legal precedents so these three are crucial or important examples to be uh, put in as for deductive reasoning or 
uh, sorry for inductive reasoning or induction so let us look at mcqs you can answer along with me first what is the key feature of simple enumeration induction the choices are it provides certain conclusions of course not certain con conclusions is in deductive arguments second option was it moves from general to specific no general to specific is uh, in the inductive reasoning general means all uh, it generalizes based on observed instances yes this this could be the one it relies on necessary connection no so the third option is the correct answer so the key feature of simple enumeration induction is that it generalizes based on observed instances which of the following is an example of simple enumeration observing that all observed swans are white swans are white and concluding all swans are white so this th there is a possibility that this can be one of the examples deriving a conclusion that necessarily follows from premises this is deduct definition of a deductive argument drawing conclusions based on a hypothetical reasoning this is the definition of abductive reasoning using a rigorous mathematical proof this i am not sure so the answer is first one so second and third are wrong what is a major limitation of simple enumeration it is too rigorous it does not apply to real life scenarios its conclusions may be contradicted by future observations yes this is the most likely it lacks observational basis okay i will go with the third one simple enumeration is a form of inductive reasoning fill in the blanks the conclusion drawn in simple enumeration is dash rather than certain it is more probabilistic rather than certain probable rather than certain a major weakness of simple enumeration is the risk of dash generalization is a risk of let's check the answer hasty generalization in legal reasoning simple enumeration is often used to analyze patterns in daily life in evidence in legal okay in legal reasoning they are talking about in legal legal relationship uh, we use simple enumeration to analyze patterns in evidence the statements all swans are white is a dash is a dash based on observed instances is a in induction induction enumeration is a simple induction enumeration based on observed instances or is a generalization based on observed instances okay so i am no expert i am also learning along with you all thank you very much for patiently staying around and listening to the entire video till the end if it helped you do share as usual with your friends who can also be helped out the exams are coming very near so best of luck to all thank you